Yo, I'm letting y'all see a man that is at his very bottom right now. It's my fucking off day. I woke up like 30 minutes ago. And the first thing I do, as obvious with any real N-I-G-G-A, with my guy Kendrick. N-I-G-G-A. <laughs> I check my bag, I check my portfolio, see what that's looking like. It's looking fucking delicious. But after that... I check Instagram, the land of the hoes, and apparently the land of Kendrick going dolo Eskimo bros on fucking Drake. That nigga dropped the response. So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, nigga, am I going to have to do a review looking like this? I guess I got to do a review looking like this. Um, Here's the review. Drake is fucked. That's the review. Drake is in a scope right now. And um there's not many not many paths forward here for, for old obs. Oh obs. So this is the road that I said was gonna be less travel, possibly not even experience. Uh in my just straight monologue soliloquy. That I posted in the previous video, which you can find right now on the channel. Um, I'm recording on my phone, so I can't even link it if I wanted to. But um, based on my 40-minute video, kind of going over some of this, what could and what could not happen in this as a response uh, to Euphoria. And one path that I mentioned to all of the multiversal options was Kendrick could just go back to back and like just look to smoke this nigga. Blitzkrieg him is what I said. Um, basically, you know. A la Germany against Russia, all those, well, Germany against uh, Britain, all those, you know, years and years ago. Speaking of Britain, uh, I got the fucking monk mouth right now because I didn't go brush my teeth. I literally got to bed, check my portfolio, check Kendrick uh, putting this nigga in a box, and I just made this video. So I got the mush mouth, the monk mouth. I got to go brush my teeth, but until then, I had to struggle through this video with me. So, yeah. He chose Blitzkrieg, and he did that shit in excellent fashion. A, he emulated uh, Taylor May freestyle in a couple ways. This primarily just being basically, uh, do you really want to do this shit? Because if you really want to do this shit, I got some shit on you. Uh, B, he got Jack Antonoff, uh, legendary uh, pop producer. Taylor Swift's primarily primary pop producer to co-produce with his guy Kendrick's guy Soundwave uh on this one so that's a little of a, another layer uh and then C apparently so I don't know how to interpret this I've seen that this was mirrored like this was actually going to be Drake's like title like it's not just mirroring you know 5 a.m Toronto uh 8 p.m in Calabasas this is like actually this is going to be Kendrick or Drake's title Hand of God, like this is going to be, because Drake was supposed to drop a diss last night per some industry niggas on Twitter, and he didn't. So it was kind of like, a, okay. And as I theorized, as most people theorized, like Drake even posted an IG story, kind of like, you know, kind of hyping himself up a little bit. There was going to be like a very quick turnaround on his diss. So basically, it makes sense, like it lines up more or less that Kendrick either did something Drake didn't expect by dropping a response this fast at all, or he actually did just, like, take Drake's title, which falls in line with the whole, like, the, half of this song is pretty much about, like, Drake having moles in his, you know, his camp. So it would make sense that, like, his title got snatched from him, basically. And that appears to be what happened. Drake didn't drop his diss. Kendrick dropped his out of the blue. And it has the same title as what Drake was kind of leaning on to. Um, and then D, I think since this seems supposed to be Father's Day, you know, Drake's a terrible father. Um, it's supposed to be Tupac's birthday. I'm just getting off of KTT2. Shout out to Kanye to the two. Um, Tupac's birthday was since 16. And Drake's, you know, kind of counter jab. Preemptive counter jab, Taylor May freestyle. He does the whole Tupac thing. So, God, that's ugly. I wish I didn't do that. It's nasty. I'm sorry, guys. So basically, this was like 
him pulling the rug out from under Drake preemptively. Like, Drake, I think, had something responded, you know, something ready to go. And uh, he doesn't get that. He doesn't get to drop that. Got to go back to the drawing board. The OVO sweatshop has to come up with something a little bit different. Now, I again, I said this in the previous video. I said talking to my, uh, my guy at work. I think Drake has something ready to go regardless, like, of what Kendrick's going to have with Euphoria. The contents of it probably would still remain evergreen, but the title and whatever, you probably have to change that around. So we may get another response, but I think Drake would unfortunately be reduced to having to wait another week, as he said, that Kendrick have to do on Taylor Made Freestyle. Because I just, Drake is somebody that wants the weekend, uh, pause, and um, no pun intended. He wants the weekend, and uh, I don't think he's going to drop like on a Monday or a Tuesday or some shit like that, even though Tuesday is kind of like his thing, uh, or I love McConaughey's thing, I guess, I don't know. Um, I think he's going to like wait until next Friday, and which will give him some time to kind of configure something else out. Now, here's where the theorizing that comes in. If Drake really is surrounded by moles, as we've kind of seen with the story of Added On and some of Kanye's people uh, knew of this shit, uh, information, and uh, as we are now seeing with this, this does it matter? Like, if he just says, hey, guys, let's get back together and let's get together in the disc real quick, does Kidrick just find out about that? And then preemptively, like, this, this could just be a situation where we get to, like, I said this on my IG, but Crawford Spence, where, like, you expect the two giants to eventually come to, like, a point where, like, they start actually trading hits, and then it stops. It, it doesn't become trading hits. It's just one giant starts fucking the other one. Pause. Um, and I think we could get to to that as a possibility. I'm gonna start taking these possibilities a little more serious after this one, because you know, um, that could be the reality we end up at. It's where he just starts like bullying Drake again and again. Like Drake just gets together in the booth. Hey guys, I got the. I got the stems together, you know, I got the, let's just get this engineer, you know, and, and master and all that, let's get it put out there, and then Kendrick just snatched that shit, and then just, like, make some funny diss about that, and then Drake never gets to drop again, and Kendrick just wins, and, you know, that's a possibility, uh, I, I do think that Kendrick wants Drake to, to drop, though, like, I said that before, and I think I, I I'm still stand by that, because, as we can tell, like, Kendrick allegedly, I, I'm, I'm allegedly saying, please, don't sue me. Don't cease to assess my videos. I'm not saying this as a fact. I, I still think Kendrick might be calling Drake a, a, a P, P word. I'm not going to say it this time. A P word. Because I might get fucking, I don't know, I might get red flag saying this shit all the time. And I don't mean red flag by YouTube. I mean, like, by the the government. <laughs> so let's just say a P word. I think Kendrick is still calling Drake a P word. Um, I think he alluded to it with the real women part. And then, uh, even though I think Kendrick, like, loves Michael Jackson, uh, he finished with, you know, the whole, let's see how Mike Jack would really handle this shit, or something like that, you know, at the end of, uh, this previous song. So, I think he's still calling Drake a, a P-word, and, uh, I think he wants to expose Drake. I think he does. I think he has information. I didn't know if he had information for the first song. Like, I think he was kind of, like handling more in like a, a rapper sense like baiting him in a rapper way um but then you know i mean i also like kind of thought of that song after listening to it like maybe one or two times after hearing like somebody new on twitter break down a new bar from that song every five seconds that nigga might have a lot <laughs> and he just didn't choose to fucking like make it plain text for dumb niggas like me he might have a lot and a lot and a lot. And I mean, Pusha T had a lot that he never went into because Drake never responded. I don't know if Drake wants this. I mean, Kendrick, other than his kid being like potentially a, a byproduct of, you know, somebody else, like, can you make that go for an entire song? I mean, Jay-Z tried that with Super Ugly, and it didn't work. And Jay-Z is 50 times better than lyricist of, of Drake. And Jay-Z actually smashed Nas's wife. It's different than, like, somebody else just saying, like, 
your wife like got hit by a bodyguard and your kid may not be yours like to me smashing somebody's wife is like here out of frame saying like i heard that your wife got like uh potentially knocked up by another dude that's disrespectful it's flagrant but it's like it's like a nine it's like an eight eight to nine what jay-z tried to go for is like a 25 but it's like it was low brow as fuck and uh his mom didn't appreciate that so his mom made him apologize on angie martinez uh <laughs> but like that that would be like to me that'd be had to be what drake comes with in the next round like i know it's it would be fall into kendrick's bear trap on some Corey shit uh, I just watched a dude play the Corey and like this moment with the guy stepping the bear trap. That's the reference there. Um, yeah, stepping some bear trap. Like I don't know if Drake, Kendrick wants Drake to keep it rap or be prepared to die. And I think Drake just has to come prepared to die because he's not gonna out rap Kendrick. Like we just saw push ups as compared to what we heard with Euphoria. He's not out rapping Kendrick. Like we're not keeping it rap and Drake's winning. So it's almost like chess where like you as the king with like no other real pieces around you or just face like an entire board in front of you. And you got to ask yourself, like, am I going to play to maybe get stalemate, which is the win in this situation, in my opinion, for Drake stalemate? You're not going to win it outright. Or do I just say, fuck it, let's go ahead and get this over with. And I go out guns blazing and start moving my king all around the fucking board like a jackass. I mean, Drake could get like, a piece or two, like, he could probably drop something that's probably pretty fire and get a couple more, you know, neutral people to kind of come his way, but that nigga ain't winning this beef, and if he drops something disrespectful, I think Kendrick might end that nigga. <laughs> I don't think we want to see Aubrey Graham, best I ever had was a decade ago, go out like that. I don't think we want that. <laughs> I like the best I ever had, man. That's one of my favorite songs of all time, dude. I don't see the nigga who made that get called out for fucking, you know, something crazy, man. Drake, don't do it. 